Welcome to the Alentejo. We are not too far, about 30 minutes outside of Ivra at the Almendras Kromlik, which is known as a megalith encampment of 95 different stones that have been here since the 6th the sixth century BC. It's 6,000 millennium, right? 6,000 years. These things have been here. And similar to Stonehenge, in fact, they call this the Stonehenge of Portugal, I believe, you can check me on that, uh, that nobody really knows what this is. Maybe it was a religious uh, kind of thing. Maybe it was a, an offering to the, uh, to the stars, but at least, what is it? 8,000 years ago, people were here in this space. But this is a very calm, peaceful space. We have a chance to walk around and kind of feel what the sacredness of this space actually means. So let's take a walk around, shall we? If you can see here, there's an indentation here, a circular mark here. This stone is actually about 5,000 BC. Yeah, that's where this dates from. And actually it turns out that between 6,000 and 3,000 BC, they ended up repositioning the stones all around this area to match with the sun, moon, and stars. So when the Portuguese government found this place, they had an option. They could close it and keep it private, or they could allow the public to come out and wander around. And here we've seen several people walking around. They've obviously kept it open, so that's great. It gives us a window into ancient humanity's past. Uh, but it's not easy to get here. Uh, one of the important things is to have a rental car and realize that you're going to be on a dirt road where it's going to be bumpy. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. We're lucky that we're here at sunset. So we've finally rolled into Ivra and first things first, it's time to feast. We've stopped into Taberna Tipica Quarta Fera with Chef Joao, who has told us when, as soon as we walked in the door, he's just going to tell us what we're going to have. We came hoping for the pata negra, which should be the black pork, which should be tasty. But in front of us, we have this spread right now. Let's take a peek here. A pumpkin jam with marmalade and a, what was this, the spicy honey? Ah, chili jelly. Ah, this is a chili jelly with a little Melba toast. Looks like lomo, different kind of uh, olives. This cheese is sheep cheese from uh, uh, the Alentejo region. We've got a few bacon wraps and uh, some gazpacho with some warm mushrooms bread. But first things first, ah, et voila. There's something more to the table. Let's see what's inside. Oh, yes. Scrambled eggs. So this whole thing is an absolute surprise because we weren't exactly sure what he was going to put in front of us. Still fingers crossing for the pata negra, but so far so good. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. Smoky, flavorful. Look at that piece of fat right there. I want more of this in my belly. Um, this cheese. We talked to the chef. We talked to Chef uh, Joel, and he says that this cheese is actually one of the World Cheese Award winners, or at least it placed. I think that's a winner. Really sweet, really earthy. You don't get an overwhelming kind of like sheep cheese powder in your nose or, in, or on the palate. It's really, really mild. Melba toast. This is the one that's worth eating for sure. So sitting in front of me is the caldo verde, which is a very typical soup here in Portugal. Uh, it's served usually with potatoes and green veg and uh, chorizo. See that? See how thick that is? See how thick and gloopy that is? That's fantastic. Let's dig in. But, mm, but salty. Mm. Behold the pata negra, or black pig. That's why we came here, and it turns out that we've got main course time, and it's a spread. Pumpkin and some, uh, 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 what's it called, onion. Looks fantastic. Of course, the pata negra. You know what? I'm supposed to wait for the tasting, but I'm gonna taste it now. I don't care. I'm super excited. that. He also gave us the oxtail. Super excited about digging into that. It's been a while since I've had a nice osso buco. As you can see, the spinach here, it is not a green turd. 
It is a loaf of spinach. <laughs> Sorry. The sobremesa dessert. Here we have a palate cleanser with kvassa and some mints. This will be really, really refreshing and nice. It's actually quite a lot. The traditional style, water, sugar, egg yolk, and almond mixture. I've actually had this type before, but it's it seems a little bit deconstructed. It's uh, in a different palette, in a different form than I've usually had. All right. Oh, this is a tasting, y'all. It is time for the taste. Oh, it's not, e it looks like it's hard, but it's not. Let's see what we get here. How it blends. And here we go. Should I, should I eat this? What do you think? No? My mouthfeel on this, creamy yet nutty at the same time. Yeah, this is lovely. It's not really my type of dessert, but I can accept it.